Have you ever considered to get yourself some portable lights for your video making or photography? They're usually quite cheap, tiny, but they can be powerful and very versatile. So today, with the we light as for free by Viltrox. I'm gonna share three different settings when these lights can be very useful. Let's get rolling after the intro. What was that? So welcome to this new video. Today is going to be fun. It's one of those creative sessions where together we try to make something out of what we have, the gear we own or the new gear we're going to buy. So I've got four of these SO3 lights by Viltrox. These are the We Light SO3. They come in different colors, but we're gonna talk about the actual light maybe later on in the video. There's an infinite amount of ways you can use these lights, but I'm gonna share three ways I use them. Now, as soon as you get the lights and you try to turn them on, they will be in a white temperature, reproducing the daylight at around 5,600 degrees. There's no controls on the lights, so you can't really do anything on the light, but you need to download the We Light Pro app. That's the only way to really get the most out of this tiny and quite wonderful We Light SO3. The next thing you want to do is to turn your Bluetooth on. On the smartphone, that's the way you connect the light to your smartphone. And we're gonna open the app. I'm gonna set up the two key lights of my YouTube Studio videos in a white temperature at 5600 degrees, another one at 5600 degrees but with a lower power and one in the background with an orange shade. In here you will find different groups called from A to F and different channels. I'm not going to make a manual in this video about the light. But that means that you can add to a specific group different lights and to another group other lights. So you can really manipulate any light you have in different ways, which is great from remote as well. So the first group I've selected is group A and I'm going to turn on the first two lights. They are in white color. I go to CCT, which reproduces the daylight. And in here, I can change and manipulate the brightness, saturation, the color and temperature of those both lights together. So I'm going to go to 100% because these are going to be my key light for my YouTube studio videos. The temperature, you can slide, but I go to 5600, which matches my camera settings. And that's my first group. I go back to the groups and press on B. Now this is my second group. I'm gonna turn my third light on. Go to CCT once again. And as you can see, I'm only turning on and off the third light. And also can change the temperature, but once again, I want it in uh, 5600 degrees. There you go. But the power, let's go to 50. Perfect, that, that's my third light. I'm going to go back once more, go to the group C and turn on the fourth light. The app automatically will recognize the fourth light. This time I want an orange color we said. So let's go to um, HSL, which means I can really choose any shade of the light spectrum. And with the wheel, simply moving my finger on the wheel, I can literally reproduce any color and I go to something like that, which is my branding color. Whenever you want to turn an individual light on or off, you press this button. Then you go to group A, for example, you press those off and so on. So let's start with the first setup. I'm gonna turn all my studio lights off, the bigger lights, and we're going to recreate more or less the same setup with only these tiny four lights. You ready? Let's go. I am back. I've been lit up only by the four SO3 light, the Wii light you've seen before. They're doing a pretty good job. I mean, that you've seen the size, that tiny. That's my first setup. One tripod, two different lights, one a bit higher, 100% of power, 5600 degrees, Kelvin degrees. One is right here. This is the fill light or back hair light, whatever you want to call it. 
It's right here on another tripod, vertical position, 50% of brightness, still at 5600 Kelvin degrees. And then I've got the backlight over here. That's in an orange shade, 100% power. I didn't even have to change the settings of the camera. I'm filming at 24 frames per second, shutter speed 1 48th of a second. The ISO is, let me check actually, 400 and the iris is at f1.8. So they can really hold up against the bigger lights I used before which is quite impressive. Probably they need some more diffusion to make the look a bit softer and the shadows in the background but I think that that's a good starting point and the lights actually I haven't mentioned are $26 each. So with under $100 you can get this set up and really recreate your studio wherever you are in the world. So that's definitely a plus. Let's talk about the second way we can use these lights and I wanted to show you some portrait like photography with different colors and shades of the spectrum that's gonna be fun let's get rolling all right this is my first setup for portrait photography one wee light over here 100 percent of power in orange one over there uh, on a teal kind of blue shade and the camera right in front of me both of the lights are at actually 100 percent in terms of brightness let's take this shot This is my second setup for the photography and I'm reproducing more or less the same setup I had for my YouTube videos where I have two key lights over here, right hand side of my face, one fill light, a backlight on the left hand side and one light that actually brightens up the background. Everything is set up in a white color at 5600 degrees, Kelvin degrees. And this is the shot. As you can see, a lot of different creative ways to use these lights. Let's go to the first setting, which is actually how to use the lights for product photography or videography. Let's say we now want to take some thumbnails for our YouTube video, for example, or just product photography or some videos in terms of products. I've just set up these three lights. I've got one here underneath my product in a blue teal kind of shade and two white lights. Again, one lighting up the background, one on the product as the key light. Simple, three lights because I'm taking the photo of my fourth like and hopefully I'm gonna use this photo as the thumbnail for this very video. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. I really actually liked to play with these tiny lights, the wheel light SO3 by Viltrux. Go and check them out on the Viltrux website. Also, the links for the lights are down here in the description tab. And of course, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, the like button. If you're ready for more tutorials, video making tips, whatever. Also, if you have questions about those subjects, go and drop a comment in the comment tabs down here. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Check them out.